He was Sinatra's right-hand man. He was there at CBGB's in 77. Sunset Strip in 81. And he's still going strong today. His name is Jack. Tell me what is the concept behind this the design? Actually, I mean it's it's a very spontaneous progression. Hmm. Come from a family of art and artists, hmm. and as a result, took myself into applied art, hmm. which is architecture, interior design, etc. Hmm. And um, as a de-stress, hmm. I started playing the graphics hmm. a few years ago, and then decided that you know there's an absence in a genre of art, mm. which is custom art, mm. and yet it's original and is affordable mm. and can be used for personal space, corporate space, hospitality, mm. and yet can be transferred onto different mediums. You know, so mm. while taking art away from the canvas mm. and bringing it into a new format, bringing it onto everyday life, mm. into the drama of everyday mm. life, onto a dining table, mm. onto a vanity, mm. onto a dresser. Mm. So, you know, things that, you know, I feel the way I like to live my life is to have little points of joy and humor. Mm. Little things which amongst all the stress and all the tedium and all the things we must do mm. make us pause and smile. Mm. Everything mm. is tongue-in-cheek. Mm. Everything is humor. Mm. For example, how bizarre mm. is pelicans which belong in a natural environment mm. taken into my version of Versailles then of course there's the last summer supper and when it goes onto a canvas mm. we say once upon a time because they're just stories now they're just history they're just mm. legends mm. Mm. it's just mm. the satire how do you play with it because there's a blue lotus mm. once in a blue moon mm. you might pick up you might indulge in vanity once in a blue moon mm. You might pick up the phone once in a blue moon. It's art has always been in an evolution of becoming more and more accessible. Mm. Right? So I would say this is just one more genre mm. of that because it is basically to bring art into your life and yet be functional. Mm.